Our actions under the name of national security are neither human nor right when our own people are forced to choose between a terrorist bullet and our pellet. The system of killing someone with the intention of self-defense against threat to life is a convenient methodology being used by the security forces as an arbitrary way of working with zero accountability in the garb of national security. Not a single day goes by when in some part of the country or another, an alleged gangster or terrorist is shot down, detained or mercilessly tortured without any proof that the amount of force used was compelled by the actions of the accused. Honorable Chairman, our actions under the name of national security are neither human nor right when our own people are forced to choose between a terrorist bullet and our pellet. Can we justify this policy of mayhem, as my worthy opponents like to say, collateral damage? <laughs> Nobody wants to willingly become a terrorist, pick up a weapon, tie a suicide belt and blow themselves up. What my worthy opponents fail to realize is that the non-observance of human rights by the state and the security forces are one of the chief causes of militancy. Sarve bhavanto sukhina in the Upanishads, the live and let live of Jainism and Buddhism, that man is created in the image of God and has a certain dignity in the Bible, and similar examples can be found in every single religion. The Honorable Supreme Court, in the judgments of the DK Basu petition regarding custodial crime and torture, the PUCL petitions with regards to killing by the Mumbai police, and the do's and don'ts with regards to AFSPA, has made it clear that the fundamental right to life as per Article 21 and right to equality before law as per Article 14 will override any compulsion of the, the compulsions of the state, even while attempting to preserve the integrity of the Indian Union. There is not one single special economic zone in the JNK, the Northeastern states, Jharkhand or Chhattisgarh. Even after 73 years of independence, our prison occupancy rate is much more than our school occupancy rate and my worthy opponents say that human rights cannot be absolute. Yeah. Honorable Chairman, terrorism has succeeded in destroying democracies when a nation state, under the pretext of national security, arrests without warrant, detains without justification, spies without reason and kills without conscience.